Hello and welcome, my name is Akira and this is my Let's Try series of World of Warships and this time we're gonna sail out in Rio trying to get enough XP to upgrade and get a battleship. And we have a control map here, I think we're just gonna be sailing towards A if, if our team joins us. If we can sail a destroyer, two cruisers, and three battleships to forwards. We will be able to deal with most most of what will come against us. But I guess we'll see. Gonna sail forward at uh, two quarter speed, or three quarter speed, just so I don't get too much ahead of my battleships. There's no reason to pretend too much of a target, especially not if the destroyer isn't threatening ahead. If he charges, if the destroyer had, well, he's probably, oh, he's woken up now. If he had charged ahead, uh, I might be able, to, might might wanna like just follow him because then at least I would know what's out there. But as long as I am the one spotting, then the people who spot me will have most likely have bigger cannons. So. And just making sure my torpedo is seven kilometers. And my gun range is ten. So soon my torpedoes will be able to reach the middle of the scoring circle. So even with three quarter speed, this destroyer is not really overtaking me, which means he's probably also not in a hurry to get out there. And now he's also in front of my torpedoes. I might as well just fire some blindly into the circle. I think. It's not like I'm an expert or anything, but I'm thinking they have a reload time of less than a minute. And I need to get close before I can use it on anyone. So I might as well see. If I'm lucky, I'll hit a destroyer in there. Seems like the enemy has sent someone to the, to the B point, though. At least two battleships trying to get there here. And there's also some ships here. So they might not be as strong here as you could fear. See if I can hit his, him over this island. Nah. Uh, and I'm not detected, so I should probably not shoot anymore as long as that Nikolai is out there. At least not until my... Let's see. Can I send some torpedoes at, at that Tenryo there? That'd be nice. Have some Tenryo torpedo on torpedo action here. I think I'm gonna change to AP shell since I'm shooting at another cruiser. Need to get around these torpedoes here. And I set a delta him. And he died. So that was pretty nice. I'm gonna change back to AT shells now since there's only two battle battleships yet, or I could go and hunt these. There is a phoenix over there. Well, no reason to change shells. I might as well uh, shoot my HE shells over there first. There's nothing wrong with lighting him on fire. Oh, 
I don't like shooting at my Kaiser. I think I'm gonna go and get a little bit closer before I start using them. S seems like he's gonna die in soon anyway. Yep. That would be kind of have been a waste. Torpedoes, dead ahead. So let's get in here. Let's see if we can do some damage. That Wyoming. Might as well shoot at this Svetlana while we are angled. Probably even again. I think my Wyoming will be out of. Well, he's eight kilometers away anyway, so it's not like I can hit him with my torpedoes. I have some good angles here. So we can kill this Clemson instead. It's gonna be harder to hit, but it's also gonna be more impactful if I do. See if he knows that I have torpedoes. He's awfully close. Night of him to turn away, give me a board site there. I think I'm gonna change to my AP shells. Just to penetrate a little bit. So, AP does way more damage, but it has to penetrate the armor, whereas high exposure splits the shells just kind of. Explode above the ship and gives damage uh, via the explosion. Plus, armor penetrating shells have the chance of just penetrating all the way through the ship, not doing too much damage. So, he is trying to hide in smoke, so we're just gonna give him some torpedoes. And it seems I hit him. And I'm not no, not detected by him anymore. So we've done a good deal of damage here. Let's just see if we can get closer to this Wyoming. And I am detected so I might as well start shooting at him. As well, also see if we can get rid of this guy. As long as he's alive, he's a danger. Okay, Wyoming. I'm gonna see if I can get a little bit closer to him. I might die soon, so might as well see if I can get these off. Seems my rudder is shut. And that was that. But all in all, I think it was a pretty pretty okay battle. I did get one kill. I got 24,000 damage off, which is okay in a in a cruiser, especially tech 3 cruiser. And like I as I say, usually if you do more damage than you have HP before you die, at least you've done a positive difference to the HP total of your two teams, right? Um, so... 
Yeah, I think I did okay. Um, whether we'll win this battle, I'm not sure. And that Kaiser is, is, is gone now, so... This, well, on the other hand, we are com completely annihilating this Kaiser out here, so... There is a chance. And it will be down to our two teams meeting and seeing who's who's the boss. That's why Oming is not good at aiming. It doesn't seem like this Kaiser is sailing. Might have just... No, he is just bad. I was just about to say he might have underestimated his speed, but no, he was just he was just bad. So, um, well, hopefully they'll go on Cap B then now and kind of stay together so they have an easier time of killing them over in in A. We are ahead of on points, which is which means we kind of have the initiative. So, if we can kind of team up in in B, there's a good chance, a good chance we can actually win this. But I don't think we have any torpedoes. I'm not sure if a Kuma, Kuma might have. They probably have. They have a Isokasa. So if you can get that killed, then it's down to guns. I think we actually have a chance. But it's definitely not a sure thing. Comes down to if this Wyoming has a little bit better aim. Let's hide this. Yeah, they're saying they need backup from a destroyer, but they, they don't have one, so yeah. Can't get everything all the time. And our cruiser is down to almost no HP and it's just hanging out. I get that he don't wanna he doesn't want to get hit, but And we have spotted the enemy and they are pretty close together. Be nice to have some torpedoes there. Well, if that's how he's gonna play it, we definitely won't win. So they are spotted by the destroyer right now while we are unspotting them, so it's not looking good. If they can kill that Svetlana, it's only one shot. One shot, one kill. Come on, SO. Didn't you train your guns? Why are you not shooting? He can definitely hit it. I'm not really sure what he's doing. Why wouldn't he be shooting? Finally. And I think the best thing would be to probably do... Well, goodbye Nassau. I was just about to say the best thing would be to de ignore the destroyer. Maybe let the Kuma, the Kuma try and deal with it, but... I guess at this point it's... It's looking a little bit bleak. Yep. I think this will be a spectacular fail. 
So now he just needs to get that Azokasa so they can't spot him while he can spot them. If he can kill that, uh, unfortunately for the Azokasa, it's come pretty close to the Wyoming. Um, so if he doesn't get him with his torpedoes, he's gonna get shut down by the secondaries. And he's doing the smart thing of turning as soon as he sees the destroyer. Don't wait to see if the um, if the torpedoes will come. Just change direction. But I don't think the Wyoming will will last. He's turning a broadside to the other guys now. He's on fire, two or three places. And we are losing on points as well, so unless he can actually kill the rest of the ships in the next 4 minutes 53 seconds. And he just got citadeled, so that's that as well. Come on! Okay. End of battle. But, it was a fun battle, even if we lost. Um, yeah. I think we personally did okay, and we'll probably... Oh, actually, second best ship uh, if we look at damage and XP, so not too bad. Anyway, hope you enjoyed the fight. If you did, consider the like button subscribing. Hope to see you next time. Until then, have a good day.